Following the destruction of the temple by the Romans in the year 70 CE, Jews became dispersed throughout the globe in what we call the diaspora. Since then, Jerusalem has been embedded in our collective memory, and our desire to be reunited with the epicenter of the Jewish world has been expressed through liturgy and song for centuries. Welcome to the Western Wall, the holiest site for Jews around the world. The Kotel, as it's referred to in Hebrew, simply means wall, and it served as a retaining wall for the Temple Mount itself, on which stood the Jewish Temple 2,000 years ago. The Kotel has become the national symbol of the Jewish people. And it was only in 1967, during the Six Day War, when the Israeli Defense Forces managed to reunify the city of Jerusalem, capturing the old city from the Jordanian legionnaires, enabling Jews for the very first time in 2,000 years to visit the Western Wall as free Jews in their sovereign and eternal capital. A story is recounted in the Talmud of Rabbi Akiva walking on the Temple Mount with a few other sages after the temple was destroyed, when all of a sudden they witnessed a fox coming out of the rubble from the place that used to be the Holy of Holies, the innermost sanctuary of the temple. The sages expressed their grief and started to weep, while Rabbi Akiva, well, Rabbi Akiva laughed. When the sages asked him how he could possibly laugh while seeing the ruins of the temple, Rabbi Akiva replied that just as the first prophecy had been fulfilled of Zion being plowed under like a field, so too would the second prophecy be actualized, where in the book of the prophet Zechariah we read, Yet again, elderly men and elderly women will sit in the streets of Jerusalem, and the streets of the city will be full of children playing in her streets.